Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go through your next task in Year 10 Photography, which is our design process and solution realisation. Um, now that is a very fancy word for saying that we are doing the full design process uh, for our assignment on Glenelg. So what the task is, is you're required to take a series of six photographs. Um, you're going to be promoting Glenelg as a tourist destination. Um, the reason that we're doing this is because when I think about what I want you to know as photographers, so much about it is about um, commercial photography, taking work for promotion, for businesses, for things like that. So that's what this assignment kind of came from, I guess, the idea of promoting a, um, a business, well, a, a destination. Um, so you're going to be producing two photographs per category because when I thought of Glenelg, um, I, you know, if you're going to create a diverse um, I don't know, series of images for promotion, you need to have a variety. You can't just have all photos of the beach or all photos of the beach house. And so what I did to try to help with that is um, we decided to break it up into three categories. And that way kind of forces you to have that variety, making sure that you get that variety to promote Glenelg effectively. But also um, because there's a couple of different techniques with each of the different um, categories. So the first one is seaside. Seaside can be anywhere uh, along the seaside, um, the beach, um, the foreshore, the marina. There's lots, um, which is why we put seaside as the category. So there's anything with water really. Um, architecture, so the buildings and the, and the different um, kind of structures around Glenelg. Um, and culture. Now culture is a really interesting one and culture is more about how do we capture that essence of Glenelg? Like what's Glenelg known for? What some of the things people do there, they shop, they eat, they, um, there's street art, there's live music, like there's the playgrounds and the water fountains, there's lots of things there that can um, kind of feed the culture of Glenelg. So you're needing to capture those three things, all very different skill sets really, um, but we're going to discuss that more in class. So you're going to be creating with these photos, so what our product is, so in photography we have the photos and then we have a product to deliver the photos and our product is a website. So you're going to be creating a website using Google Sites um, and you're going to be going through the whole process on how to um, your ideas and your research and, and your problem solving and planning around both the photos and the website. That is your assignment, basically. Um, you're going to be marked on technical quality of your images and the impact and how good they are for promotion, how well you address the design brief, which we'll talk about soon, um, the overall final product, and the actual process that you've gone through in that design process and solution realization record. Some big words, but it's all connected to SACE to get you prepped for next year. So if we scroll down, I'm probably going to break this this video into two sections. I'll do the development and planning, the introduction in development and planning, and then I'll do a different video later down the track for the actual um, producing side, the solution realization side of the design process. Now that design process is something that we've discussed before. It's about um, development and planning. So uh, investigation and researching and planning for what we need to do and then the solution realization part is the production so that's the problem solving and the editing and the making so um, we're going to do the whole process in this assignment so it's the biggest one we've done so far um, but if you follow this task sheet um, and obviously work through all the class exercises uh, you should be super successful and obviously I'm going to show you some examples as we go so the design process and solution realization record uh, goes through from here the first thing you need to do is a cover page. So cover pages can look however you like. Um, plenty of different versions of, of cover pages um, and all fine. Name, assignment, um, and the year. Now you'll notice that um, the examples say design process and product record. We've just got to change it to solution realization record because that's the new SACE language. Then the design brief. Now a design brief is really important. A design brief is what guides us. Um, it's what gives us the information we need to then go through the process to solve. Um, and we're going to talk about that obviously more in class, but I've provided you that design brief, which is great. It means you don't have to write it. But what you do need to do is copy and paste it from the assignment sheet and reformat it to suit your layout. Okay, so you can see that here. You can see that here and 
so many examples open up, so many good ones. Uh, there, you know, lots and lots of different examples of how you can format your design brief. Okay. So the design brief um, very much just goes into what our need or our problem or our challenge is, which is that council want to promote Glenelg as a tourist destination um, online and they want to show what it has to offer through all those categories. So what you need to do, the statement of intent, is take a series of professional photographs around the categories and produce a website. Okay, so what the problem is, what we need to do about it. Now, what are the things we need to consider when we go through it? Um, so aesthetics, what something looks like. So the visual impact of everything, making sure your camera techniques are good and your compositional rules are good, your image quality is good, and the website, the design is, is effective and, and good for promotion. The function, so how it works. Websites are in to include the categories and make it easy to like follow around the website and effective use of natural light. We are in a natural light course, you need to make sure you're using that effectively. And the constraints, so things that might hold us back. So you have to have two images in each category and they must be taken on um, a Glenelg excursion or in your own time. Um, so they are things that you need to consider, they're things that are non-negotiables basically. Okay, so once we've done the design brief, we go into design development and planning. So again, you can add a cover page, you can put a heading, doesn't matter. As long as you've got it there, then that's all that really, yeah, all that really matters. Okay. So this part, we're going to do a little bit as a class, and you can copy it into your document, but you're going to brainstorm all of the options to photograph under the three categories. So you can do that however you like. You can make your own little mind map. You can just list things, you can do more listing, but you can see here it's not just jetty, but it's like, what about the jetty? The beach, what about the beach, etc., etc. So the more detailed brainstorm, the better, because the more that you investigate and the more that you plan, the more organized you're going to be on the excursion. You're going to be like, all right, I know I need to go here. I want to take this photo, this photo, this photo. You're not wasting time. You're not just wandering around and hoping a photo works. You've really considered it, and it's going to produce better outcomes. It really does. It's been proven that it does. Um, so that's what the brainstorm, all of the options under the three categories looks like. From your brainstorm, I want you to find a minimum of six images of Glenelg for inspiration. So this is a bit like what we did in the collage task. You are finding six examples, so two from each category, um, and analyzing them. So not just one analysis, we can analyze them, which is crazy, but you don't need to do as much, as many dot points. It depends on what you want to do, but this is our real big practice on that, on that um, technical, concise, and formal writing. So seaside, architecture, and culture. So I want you to find examples from Glenelg, Go onto the internet, Google that, and then we're going to write our analysis. It doesn't have to be much, okay? But why are we doing this? Why are we wasting our time make, writing analysis? Um, the reason is because people have done this before. And what we want to do is we want to observe what works really well. We want to observe what doesn't work really well. So that way we can either be inspired by that, not copy it, but to be inspired by it and really understand why it works. So then when it comes to us doing it, we have that knowledge of why it works and how we can embed those same things. Okay, so that is that. Don't forget references as well. And then we need to get a map of Glenelg because we are planning. We are planning um, what we need to do and where we need to go. Now there's going to be multiple excursions, probably two, maybe three, um, and so you can actually split that into two different excursions if you like to help you not have to like run around like a crazy person, okay? So annotate a map of Glenelg to mark key locations to plan for each category. If you work out the best order to visit each location, it will save you time. So you can see here she's got the map here, or he's got the map, sorry. And then if we go to the map here, you can see that this one's a little bit less detailed, but it is effective. And then if you go to this one, this one has a lot more information. And guys, I'm, right, I'm making you a video. Shh, shh, shh. This is in the video. Um, and so what that means is that it will, now I can't focus because you're all here. Okay, I'm going to stop the video and I'll come back later. Okay, I'm going to try to do this while you guys are all listening. So, um, 
I was talking about the map and making sure that you plan for both excursions. Now I have another really good example here. This one is crazy. So you can see they've actually categorized it using color, which is really, really helpful and pointing to things. So the more detailed you can be, the better. This one here actually goes through step by step. The first trip, this is what I'm going to do. The second trip, this is what I'm going to do. And a little like path of where they're going to go, which is brilliant because it means that when you go on the excursion, you're going to be super, super organized. Now, the next bit. So that is the design development and planning for the photographs. The last little bit of design development and planning is for the website. So what I want you to do, just like when we find existing examples here, you need to find existing examples of websites. Okay, just give me two seconds. Okay. Um, so analyzing existing examples, what I want you to do is just to help you find the design or some ideas or just to have a look at other websites because why would you design something if you've never really looked at it or analyzed it? So that's what we're doing here. I want you to find two varied examples of websites that promote a tourist destination. Um, so Google a tourist destination and find a website. Um, I mean, a beachy tourist destination would make the most sense, right? Because you're doing a website based on the beach. Um, so do that. Screenshot different elements of the website and make technical and concise comments on each of the designs. Don't forget to add your URL references. And then you need to do some dot point analysis. So overall design, what elements are included, pages, headings, captions, does it promote the location effectively? Like what things have they added? All of that makes a really big difference because then when you go to make yours, you're like, actually, I want to add a video or I mean, you don't have to, you can. Or I want to make sure that everything's in little tiny squares with writing over the top. That looks really great. And so that's what I want to see, like a really strong color. Okay, and um, you can see some examples here. So home page, what's on the home page? That's really good. <laughs> You guys are going to hate the fact you're talking so loudly in my video. It sucks for the other class that has to listen to this video too. So, all right. so you can see there are lots of examples there on how other people have done it. So screenshotting little bits and analyzing little bits. By all means, you can pause and have a look at what people have written. Um, you can see homepage, subpage, and overall. This one's really handy. Really, really good. You can see all the different um, examples of the pages. Um, you've got the references, and then you've got homepage, subpage, and the overall color scheme. So all of this stuff is going to be really, really helpful. Okay. So the last. Ah, why is that not working? The last little bit that you need to do before you go on the excursion is oh it's just glitched out a minute the last little bit is drawing a mock-up so what i want you to do we're going to go through in class how to actually use google sites if you haven't used it before um, but you're going to draw a mock-up of your website a bit similar to your collage plan and annotate decisions for your pages so where are your headings going to go where are the photographs going to go the captions the image placement colors and themes i want you to be creative now obviously this plan can change once you take your photos but the reason we do it before we take our photos is because we want to know all right do we want to have a whole bunch of small square photos do we need a couple of really big landscape photos for the backgrounds? Do we need to create images, um, you know, for like that are all portrait? You need to know this before you go because what's the point in going, taking all the wrong photos and then hoping to make it work? It's a good idea if you have a plan to be organized and planned and then you can go. So an example of how that looks is not there. Um, so this is her website mock-up, so she's got exactly what she wants, and then that's what it's going to look like when she scrolls, and once the title is clicked, and a colour scheme. Now this will obviously make so much more sense to you once we look at Google Sites, um, but you can see here very similar to the collage layout. So um, we've got a toolbar, information, um, moving the mouse, image size, having a photo text there. So that is really, 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 really handy. We've seen his. This one. Heading, so what they actually want, they've actually used Google Sites to show their example. And then this one here, so actually drawing up what the website would look like. So really, really handy, just annotating what it's going to look like, what to do. And that is what needs to get done before the excursion. So we've got to try to get that done next week and a half. <laughs> um, all right, guys, as always, questions, queries, or concerns. Um, apologies for all the noise. Uh, and distraction um, but yeah hopefully this has been really helpful to you in this first part of the assignment thanks guys bye